Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sherry Kaplan from Vitality MD. Uh, just doing another segment on Ask the Doctor. Uh, this week we have a question coming in from Paula, who's a 50-year-old female who's starting to have a lot of uh, menopausal symptoms, hot flashes, vaginal dryness, um, who moves off, she's irritable and doesn't feel like herself and wants help and was wondering about bioidentical hormones as she has heard about it but wasn't sure. So I just want to sort of give you a little bit of information about um, bioidentical hormones because I think there's a lot of misunder, uh, mis, uh, understanding or miscommunication about what bioidentical hormones are. So what bioidentical hormones are or what it means is that they're molecularly identical to our own uh, natural hormones. Um, so they're not natural per se because they are synthesized in a lab, um, but they have the same molecular structure as our own hormones and therefore when we take them or use them, our body knows how to um, metabolize them and we have the same enzymes to break it down. An example of uh, what is not bioidentical is Premarin, which actually comes from horses. So you can sort of say it's natural, not necessarily natural to humans, uh, natural to horses. Um, and uh, Premarin actually has about 114 different forms of estrogens, uh, not, one, uh, not one of which is identical to our estradiol or estriol. Um, and so that is a, um, in a sense, an altered molecule that has some similar effects to our um, uh, estradiol that we produce, but has a lot of opposite effects. So that's kind of the difference between when we talk about what bioidentical uh, hormones are. Um, I know Dr. Wendy Wolfman won't use bioidentical hormones, but she'll use biosimilar, meaning that again, they're similar to our own body. Sorry about my dog barking in the background. Um, so basically, um, in uh, North America, we had the WHI study, which looked at Premarin and Provera, so sort of synthetic altered molecules, and what they found is that they increased a woman's risk of breast cancer, increased risk of stroke after using it more than five years, so a lot of women are scared about using hormones. But in Europe, there was a lot of study, um, they actually used much more bioidentical hormones, they used a lot of estradiol um, through the patch or uh, pills. Um, and then they also use different forms of progestogen. So Prome uh, Prometrium is bioidentical progesterone. They use Provera as well, which is a synthetic altered form and another form as well. And what they found is depending on which hormones they used, women had different risks. And when they did use bioidentical estrogen and progesterone, their risk of breast cancer um, basically just crossed zero. So it was either that there was a slight decrease risk, uh, about the same risk, or slightly increased. But when they actually used the um, Provera uh, component, that there was a significant increase. There was a 1.6 relative risk increase in breast cancer. So hormone replacement really depends on what hormones you're using um, to determine risks and how long we should be using or not using it. So basically, I guess that's it in a nutshell. My preference is to use bioidentical hormones. Just so you know, there are FDA and Health Canada approved bioidentical hormones. I do often use them, but I do ha uh, use um, other hormones as well. Um, so, you know, when they say there's no studies to show that bioidentical hormones are safe, that is not true. And, you know, um, so I guess that's my um, answer is that, you know, this is what bioidentical hormones are. They are safer to use than conventional hormone replacement. Everything we do in life is a risk benefit ratio, and we like to have an individualized approach. Thank you until next week. And if you're interested in submitting questions, uh, email us at um, infovitalitymd.com for your questions and see you next week.